Last night, I had a really strange dream. I was shopping at the finest shops in the world, and just when I was getting ready to pay, I noticed my wallet was empty. There was no money left since I had already bought so many things. So then a policeman came and This said, chatterbox won't stop talking. I don't even know what she's talking about. All the buttons in the store. And of course, how am I supposed to sew with this tight thimble and prickly needle? I hope we're heading home soon. It's almost tea time. Alfred, uh, huh? are you listening to me? I said, which one shall I buy, the blue or the green? I can't help you there. Sorry to tell you this, but you're very inconsiderate. The breeze is picking up. That cute little jacket I bought sure would come in handy now. Excuse me, Miss Giraffe. Would you like to dance with me? To dance? Hmm. Oh, no way. No, I don't dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't cry. I'm sure you'll find someone to dance with you. Nobody will dance with me because I'm all alone. And when the wind blows, I'd like to dance with another flower. Today's your lucky day, little Miss Flower. I'm going to go get my friends now, and we'll come right back to help you. Really? Thank you so much. You're a nice giraffe. Well, yes. Nice and elegant. I'll be right back. How's it going? Please, everyone, come here. This is really important. I've got to tell you something super important that just happened to me. I just forgot. Wow, I can't remember. Uh, let me think. I was with Alfred, telling him about my dream, and... Uh, oh, I've got it! I'll tell you about my dream. Well, I was shopping at the finest shops in the world, and just when I was getting ready to pay, I noticed my wallet was empty. <laughs> Forgive me for interrupting you, Rita, but what are you talking about? My dream? What's the matter? You want to hear it again? No, no, please don't. Once was more than enough for me. I thought you were going to help the poor flower that you met. Oh, yeah, the flower. I totally forgot about her. Olga, we've got to help move that flower to a new spot. Let's go and see that flower. Hello, Miss Flower. What's the matter? Nobody dances with me because I'm all alone. And when it gets windy, I just wish I could dance with somebody next to me. Well, let me tell you what we're going to do. We are going to replant you right next to the other flowers so you can dance with them whenever you like. Thank you so much. You are all so nice. That's very easy. You just cut the flower and put it next to the others. No, 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 no. You can't do that. If you cut me, I would die in less than a day. You have to take me out of here by digging a hole in the ground right below me so that you don't cut my roots. Don't you worry, Miss Flower. I've been gardening for a long time, and I know just how to do it. Olga, pass me a shovel, please. I don't know where it is. I think we left it near the swings. Rita, could you do me a favor and go get the shovel? Yeah, right, since I've got nothing better to do. Please, go on, Rita. It'll just take a moment. We'll stay here and keep Miss Flower company. All right, I'll go. <laughs> Let's see, now where do I find the shovel? Let me think. I believe it's under the slide. No, it's not under here. Maybe it's by the swings. Not here either. What bad luck. Uh, maybe, oh I know, it must be in the sandbox. Yay, I finally found it. I found it. It was right where I thought it would be. Okay, now I'm going to replant her. Hey, no way. I want to do it all by myself. She's my friend. But Rita, it's very complicated. If you do it wrong, the flower will die. Hmm. I don't want to discuss it with you. Either I do it, or the flower stays here forever. Milo, don't worry. I'm sure Rita will do the best she can. I'm sure everything will turn out fine. All right, as you wish. 
Rita, be very careful. You need to dig a hole just below the flower, but leave a little bit of space so that you don't cut the roots. Don't worry, this is easy as pie. Very easy. Slowly, slowly. I don't even want to look. Like that, well done. I've got it. See how easy? Very good. Now you have to put her with the other flowers. Very carefully, Rita. Thank you so much, my friends. Now I'm the happiest flower in the garden. And now let's all dance. Mumu, Talalo, come quick. We're all going to dance together. Milo, have you seen how many bees are in the garden today? Yeah, there are lots of them. We have to be careful not to bother them so they won't sting anyone. I don't like being stung by bees. Once I got stung on my arm and it got all swollen like a giant potato. Thanks to bees, we have flowers in the garden. Uh-huh. If they didn't go from flower to flower collecting and spreading pollen, we wouldn't have any flowers. Ooh, wow. Hello, little bee. How are you? Hello. What's the matter? Is it because you're tired of going from flower to flower? No. The problem is that I don't know how to collect pollen. Nobody ever taught me how. Then we better do something about that. Yeah. My friends, we have a problem. There's a bee that doesn't know how to collect pollen, and no one has ever helped him learn. We need to show the bee how to collect pollen. Um, and what happens if it stings us? Bees only sting when they feel threatened, but we're going to help her, so there's no need to worry about getting stung. So team, are we all ready to help our new friend? Yeah! We've all decided that we're going to help you. Soon you'll be the fastest pollen collecting bee. We just don't know exactly how we're going to do it. Let me know when you figure it out. I'll be playing in the flower garden. Wait for me, Mumu, I'll go with you. Why don't we all just give him an example? What a great idea, Alfred. Yeah, yeah. We'll all pretend we're bees and go from flower to flower collecting pollen. We'll put a little bit of pollen in Mumu's hand, a little bit in Rita's hand, and a little more in Olga's hand. And he'll see how it's done. Little bee, you're going to learn something new. Come with us. Little Bee, stay with Milo while I get everything ready. Rita, you stand back, right behind that rock. A little more to the right, two steps back. Perfect! Mumu, you stand four steps to your right. One, two, three, four, perfect! You and Alfred, um, you're just fine right there in the middle. Very good. Everybody ready? Little B, pay attention to what Olga's gonna do. Go! Did you see how Olga goes around touching each of their hands? That's what you need to do. You must go from flower to flower, collecting the pollen from each one. Oh, all right, little bee. See how easy it is? You just have to fly from flower to flower. Now you must do the same thing. Go and fly from hand to hand, touching each one, then fly off to the next one. Got it? Mm, I think so. Also, Olga has placed a bit of pollen in each hand for you to grab and to carry in your legs while you fly. 
Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready! Very good, little bee. Now fly towards Alfred. Fly towards Moo Moo. Oh, great. The bee's coming for its pollen. What happens if the bee thinks I'm a flower? Will he pollinate me? <gasps> and what happens if he stings me? Milo said the bee wouldn't hurt me. But if he stings me, I'll be mad. Maybe it's better when he gets here that I put my hand down so he doesn't come near me. But if I do that, he may get mad at me. That bee will sting me for sure. I think I better just run when he gets here. He's almost here. I'm so scared. I'm out of here on the count of one, two, three. Ah! A bee! the pollen. The bee is your friend. I'm sure if I were to turn around, it would sting my uh -uh. behind. Don't be silly, Moo Moo. Bees can be our friends. Ouch! A bee just stung my behind. Somebody help me. It really hurts. 